All right, y'all. Dennis here, Do It All Garage. Um, I just opened up my uh, Eastwood ACDC 200 TIG welder. It's the older non-digital version. Just opened it up last night. And uh, I've been laying some beads on this little piece of scrap metal here, as you can see. I probably got maybe two feet, if that, worth of beads on it. And uh, I just kind of wanted to make a quick video to show you what it's capable of. Um, hopefully I can lay a decent bead down. I'm still practicing. This is literally the second day I've ever touched a TIG welder in my life. So um, I guess I'll start about here. But I just want to show you what it can do. If you got any questions or anything, feel free to comment and uh, or write a qu question down in the comment section. And I'll uh, try to answer it. So here we go. So, it looks like I got some decent penetration right there. Um, it probably, you know, if that was some kind of uh, structural weld where I wasn't just practicing, I was holding something together, it probably ne would need to be a little taller, a little thicker of a puddle. But, again, I'm just practicing. Uh, some of these welds on here, you know, they look like this and don't look very good. So... It's, uh, that one, that one's all right, but I still got a long way to go, but, um, just, uh, just wanted to make this quick video about it in case you were wondering, had any questions, uh, I, I'm not sponsored by Eastwood or anything like that, um, I just, it was a killer price on an entry level TIG, which is what this is from what I understand. Again, I've never touched another TIG welder in my life until I opened this one up last night and uh, started messing with it. So uh, here's some other, hopefully you can see those. I got that one. That one's decent looking. This one here, made that one last night after, I don't know, about 30 minutes. Uh, that one right there. But again, I'm in no way a professional. I've had no... Uh, no training anything like that other than watching youtube videos and just studying the heck out of it um but yeah i'm pretty impressed with it so far um the foot pedal is fine to me okay instead of just putting my toes on it and mashing that part down i actually rest the toe of my foot on the top box and push down with the heel of my foot so that's just how I'm using it. Um, I tried using just my toe at first and it was not very, it just felt awkward. It was moving around and everything. So once I rested my toe on that box and used my heel for the pedal, it was night and day difference and it went pretty smooth. So um, that is a, that's a piece of three sixteenths uh, steel plate and uh those are my settings right there. I've got the amps up to about 130. Um, clearance effect is at zero. That's where they said it needed to be for steel. I kind of went through the manual. Sorry about the shaky video. And then the uh, pre and post flow is set at four and six, or I'm sorry, 0 0.4 and six. Got it set on DC and TIG and got all my connections hooked up gas and power cable are in the back um so anyway once again i uh, i think for you know having less than an hour total of practice with this thing that's pretty decent but i still want to see what it'll do with aluminum and uh 
stainless and stuff like that so uh, I'm gonna keep practicing with it as much as I can try to get you know as good as I can at it but anyway if y'all got any questions or anything leave them in the comment section I'll do my best to answer them thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe thanks